Hey everyone, I hope that you're doing well. Welcome to another video. Today's gonna be another quick episode <laughs> just because life is a little hectic for me right now. Um, this is another Daily Snap episode. Uh, it is gonna be a little bit more descriptive than last week's episode. Last week's episode, I was literally moving <laughs> when I was uh, doing the talking parts. Uh, I had like a quick little break and I recorded that video. Uh, in today's episode, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the outing, a little bit more about the uh, JPEG recipes that I used. All of the pictures that you're going to see in today's video, they were all shot with the XF10. And all of the B-roll that you're going to see was also straight out of camera uh, from the XF10. So I didn't do any editing uh, to any of the video or the pictures. If you have watched this channel, you know that I typically prefer to edit the raw files that come out of this camera or all of the cameras that I own. But lately, I have been playing with uh, JPEG recipes, especially when it comes to daily snaps, especially when it comes to those files that I don't really want to edit. I just want them for memory or I'm out going for a walk, as uh, is the case in today's episode. And uh, and I just am snapping away because it makes me feel good. Um, originally, the pictures that I'm going to share with you today, I was not going to make a video on it simply because I didn't think the pictures were good enough to share. Um, a few months have passed and I was looking at them uh, a couple of days ago and I thought, you know what? I like the vibe of these pictures. Um, on that particular day, I applied a very film point and shoot uh, type of approach. And I feel that I achieved that uh, with the pictures that I'm going to share with you. Um, I overexposed some of them. I underexposed others. Um, but I left it the way that it is. Um, and so anyways, uh, one of the other things that you're going to notice, one of the features about this camera that I've never talked about before but uh, that I use quite often, especially when I'm shooting uh, daily snap type of shots, is I love using the timestamp uh, that this camera offers. Um, it only works on the JPEGs, obviously, uh, but uh, none of my other uh, Fuji cameras have that option as far as I'm aware, but this camera does. I love seeing the timestamp on the bottom right corner only because it reminds me of that particular day. It's like an archive. It's a way of journaling my life. And, uh, and so you're gonna see that uh, for this particular uh, video, I left all the timestamps there. I applied that uh, setting. It's a setting that I use mainly on the pictures that I don't share on the channel, but in today's episode, I thought I'd share them anyways. As far as the recipe that I used for this particular episode, it is the plus two, plus two recipe. Some of you have asked me why I name the recipes uh, numbers like this, and it's just mainly because in my experience, my opinion, the white balance tint shift is what affects the overall look of the JPEG recipes the most. Anytime that you see that I call the recipe a certain number, it's usually uh, the white balance uh, tint shift. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna leave the recipe for today's uh, pictures here up on the screen. I'm just gonna go ahead and play this segment. Uh, and I hope that you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, uh, depending on when you're watching this. And uh, yeah, take care, and I will see you next week's episode.